talking about flooding. The cost of flooding around the state is high and growing by the day. As the threat of more weather related damage grows, Governor Butch Otter spoke today about his concern for the safety of Idahoans and how much the wild winter will cost us. Six on your side's Marissa Morrison has those numbers. In the aftermath of a severe winter, the cost of flooding, landslides, and avalanches in the state is adding up. Based on the initial damage assessments that we've done so far this year, we're up to approximately $62 million worth of damage. The governor's office estimates the cost of weather-related damage to infrastructure in the Magic Valley and many Casha areas is upwards of $30 million. As for flooding in the Treasure Valley, these experts say they're planning on it lasting into the summer months. So we've done a very calculated decision. We have kept the flows high, but we're extending them over a longer duration, which you'll probably see to at least May uh, through May and potentially in the beginning of June. Governor Butch Otto reassured citizens that government agencies are aware of the risks associated with flooding and are working together to address the problems. They're all working from the same page uh, at, from the federal level, state level, county level, city level. And as you may hear a report or two from some of the mayors, uh, from neighborhood level. Still, Otter says some communities aren't taking the risks of rising waters seriously enough and encouraged everyone to use their resources to get and stay prepared for floods. We're working for the same result and that is the safety uh, of the property and the safety of the people of uh, all over Idaho. Marissa Morrison, six on your side. Links to the state's flooding resources are posted at our website, sixonyourside.com.